Day 8. Holy Mary, Queen of the Family, listen to the drama of the family in crisis. The family is the church within the home, like the one at Nazareth, a sanctuary of human beings made of earth but filled with infinite heaven. Mary, the woman and mother of the family, teaches us the profound value of communion. Application. An eight-year-old child, in a short composition written for school, described her family thus. At my place there are two rooms, two beds, a small window and a white cat. We only eat in the evenings at my place when my father comes home with a bag full of bread and dried fish. At home we are all poor, but my father has blue eyes. My mother has brown eyes. My brother has brown eyes. And the cat too has brown eyes. When we are all seated at table, it is like heaven at my place. Rector Major's comment. In the history of the Christian art, in the history of Christian art, there are many representations of Our Lady, portrayed while sewing or weaving perhaps surrounded by St. Joseph grappling with his work and the little Jesus busy learning the skills of carpentry. The devotional legends are in charge of informing us that the seamless tunic mentioned by the evangelist John in his account of the Passion was made by Mary herself and had the characteristic of growing with its owner. If this pious belief can make us smile, greater consideration is merited by the truth of faith, that the human body of the Word of God was woven by the Virgin Mary on the loom of her own womb. We know well that the soldiers did not have the heart to destroy that humble work of tailoring which was awarded by fate to a single winner. That tunic has often been evoked to indicate the call to unity of believers in Christ. But it is no less true that the sacrament of marriage can be eloquently represented by the undivided and indivisible robe of Christ. Two spouses are enveloped by Jesus himself in a single garment, because they are no longer two, but a single being. The family of Nazareth was not all beer and skittles. The Gospel clearly testifies to this, Matthew 2 or Luke 2. But Joseph, with his prompt obedience, Mary, her inner frankness, Jesus, with his great freedom, and all three with their ability to nurture love in their heart are there to remind us that every family knot can be untied and become a web of unity. Silesian Reference Don Bosco had strained his health too much. Severe pneumonia had tested him. Father Borel gave him the last rites. This was a drama for the 400 boys at the oratory, who only had him as a father. With all their strength, they hoped for a miracle. Don Bosco recovered. 
He looked for the boys and managed to say, I owe my life to you, but be sure of this, from now on I will spend it all for you. The first time he went out was a triumph. From his bed he was carried on a chair on the boy's shoulders to the chapel in the Pinardi shed. He spent time convalescing at the Becky beside his mother Margaret and his brother Joseph. Two months later he came back to Turin and his mother came with him. They were worn out after 40 kilometers on foot. A priest friend saw them and marveled. You are crazy. Where are you going? How will you live? Have you at least something for the evening? God will provide, my friend. The good priest, very much moved, gave him his watch. See, God has already provided, Don Bosco told him kindly. Margaret was the first to enter the bare rooms of the first oratory. She smiled and said, at the Becky, every day I had to scramble to get things in order, dust the furniture and wash the pots. Here I have nothing, I will have rest. That evening, mother and son began to sing. It was an old folk song that said, woe to the world if it knew we are foreigners without anything. A boy heard them and sent the word around, Don Bosco is back. Testimony from the Silesian World Greetings to all the family. We are Ter and Silesian cooperators and members of the Holgaris Don Bosco. We were married 39 years ago. We have three children and a grandchild. We are privileged. We have had the gift of faith since we were little. Life is a gift has been nourished by constant formation and a community that has helped us to grow. And sometimes it becomes a bit temperamental and is not always rosy. But difficulties are also part of our personal and Christian growth. Going through a difficult moment and not seeing where it all ends has been a sign to make our faith more genuine. These difficult moments have been tough. Time seems to stop. Desperation. Little willingness to continue. Hatred, resentment. What wasn't in our plans comes back to haunt us. But along our way, thanks be to God, we have had people at our side and the journey became less painful. Mary, help of Christians, our mother, has played a fundamental role in our life. She has given us calm and patience. As a woman and a mother, she suffered more but did not complain. She suffered in silence all the pain a mother could suffer for her child, and she gave everything out of love. In our difficulties, we turn to her in our prayers, that she will understand us and help give us strength to be able to overcome problems with love, faith and hope as she did. See you later. We are always family. Entrustment to Mary Welcome us under your mantle, O Mother, and make us feel the warmth of the family, the family into which the Lord wanted to be born, the family which, like ours, faced difficulties and discouragement. Help us to be, as Church, a family of families, without ever judging without ever dividing, without ever distancing itself, so that every family may be a mirror of yours. 